I went uh, to work for NASA in uh, 1962 at NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia. My first assignment, I was assigned to the Meteor Simulation Project. This would allow the spacecraft engineers, the design engineers, to design protection for the spacecraft from meteoroid impacts. So that was what our job was when I got there. It was in 1958. Russia had uh, already put up a, actually the first satellite and so they were ahead of us in the space race. They also put the first astronaut in the space also. So in the 1960s, uh, America was playing catch-up. We knew that we were on the way to the moon and, you know, we were just trying to get there. That, that was an exciting time, and I felt real lucky to have gotten a job with NASA. It was, uh, you know, you knew that what you were doing uh, was headed for a moon landing. It was exciting, um, and the country was committed, you know, to the trip to the moon. So you felt like you were doing stuff for a while, uh, you know, given a free hand. You know, to try anything you thought that was uh, had a chance of working or would help, and uh, it was just a good time to be working at NASA. And I remember uh, when the moon landing occurred, I got my two young sons up and sat them in front of the TV, and we watched the transmissions uh, back from. Uh, the moon landing, and that was uh, that was a real good feeling. The fact that uh, we are, you know, sort of celebrating or talking about the 50th anniversary, it's, uh, you know, for people your age, you know, this happened before you were around, so it's sort of like a reminder uh, of what happened, and it, you know, makes old fellas like me who were around then uh, feel like we're still appreciating and uh, the fact that we may go back to the moon. Um, don't know about that, but that would be interesting also.